ago, I was surrounded by beautiful, expensive things and wealthy people and all the sort of comforts and material pleasures that you could ask for. And yet something was missing. Life is short. And whether you like what you're doing or not, if you're not fulfilled by it, if you're not following your passion, you need to make some changes. Think about the number of days you have left on this earth and how do you want to spend them? For me, the answer is simple. And I go back to one of my favorite quotes from my favorite author, Lois McMaster Bujold. The quote is that all true wealth is biological. The greatest things in life cannot be purchased. I found something fulfilling for me, and I hope you do too. sure one is in the group. <laughs> Are you gonna catch this door, Avery, or what? probably stay at a pretty high level. We're not going to get down into the details of any one particular area. Wild Edge Woodcraft is part of Serenity Meadows Farm. Ten years ago, my lovely wife of 26 years and I started an alpaca farm here in Rougemont, North Carolina, and about half of our 25-acre farm is covered in what we would call old-growth hardwood forest. So my plan when we started the farm was to harvest timber from our land and use it to build the barns and other structures here on the farm, and then also turn the hardwoods into furniture. So following that passion. Um, I've done that and uh, in the process uh, realized that there are more trees available in the urban forest than are available in uh, my little farm. And uh, I sort of have a passion for recycling. And so I, I started going down the path of trying to understand what, uh, what it would mean to harvest trees from our urban forest. Despite the uncertainty of the pandemic, my wife and I decided to take the plunge and expand our farm business. We had started Serenity Meadows Farm as an alpaca farm and a CSA about nine, eight and a half, nine years ago. And it was always in our business plan to sustainably harvest timber from our farm and turn it into lumber and furniture. This has been a passion of mine since I was a child and I have been dreaming of going full time as a woodworker. And my plan was to do that when I turned 50 in about a year and a half from now but thanks to the virus and other circumstances, it seemed like my plans needed to either be put on hold or accelerated. And I couldn't tolerate the idea of putting them on hold any longer, so we decided to put the pedal to the metal and accelerate our plans to go full-time in the woodworking business as another service from Serenity Meadows Farm. So in August of last year, we launched a new brand called Wild Edge Woodcraft. And the idea was to take trees that we could harvest either from our farm or from the local urban forest that would otherwise be going into the landfill and going to waste and repurpose them as coffee tables, dinner tables, kitchen islands, countertops, live edge shelves, things of that nature. 
and live edge means that you you keep the the natural live edge of the tree in um, not not the bark but the shape of the tree you preserve that in your tables and it's a really nice look and oftentimes you can fill any defects in the tree with epoxy which is an extremely hard resin and you know produce a really nice product Anyway, it's been about a year, and it's been one of the most challenging, exhilarating, terrifying years of my life. And just sitting here on this spring morning, drinking my coffee and preparing for the day, I'm just struck by how much life has changed in this past year. And changed for the better for me and for many of the people that I come into contact with on a regular basis. This business has been a huge blessing, not only for me and my family, but for the handful of friends that I get to work with on a regular basis. It's bringing income uh, into their families as well. It's just such a blessing to be able to work every day on something I enjoy, and that's a passion. And I enjoyed my, my white collar job very much and there were things about it I liked a lot, and certainly the people I worked with were fantastic. But the vagaries of corporate America have a lot, leave a lot to be desired. And it's not that this business doesn't have challenges, right? I, I have lots of challenges. Things go wrong on a job and that, that cost me money. All those challenges can be overcome. And it just reminds me that life is not a destination, it's a journey. And it's the experiences that you have every day in work and play that make up the sum total of your life. And if you're working every day for some future, some ideal future that may or may never come, then you're essentially wasting your life. And I guess all I would say is that although you know changing jobs can be scary or launching a new business can be scary or dropping out of school in order to start a career or stopping a career in order to go back to school, all of those changes can be positive, even though they're risky and scary, they can be positive in that it's the experience of doing those things that makes up the substance of your life. It's not the results you get from doing those things. It's not, uh, it's not a gamble that you make that may or may not pay off. The payoff is the experience. So that's my deep thought of the day as I sit here in 60 degree weather in beautiful North Carolina, sipping my coffee and preparing for the day. I hope it's helpful for you. I hope you're inspired to make the small positive changes in your life that allow you to experience every moment and live mindfully and passionately. Have a great day.